It was around this time, just over a century ago, that Michigan and surrounding states were hit by what experts believe was the worst ice storm ever. Bill Steffen joins us now from his man cave to tell us more about the ice storm of 1922. Bill, always good to talk with you. Let's go through the numbers first. Michigan and Wisconsin in particular were hit the hardest by this storm. Let's talk about that. Boy, that is for sure. We had up to four inches of freezing rain here, and it's outstanding that we have a storm like that in the month of February, which is usually the driest month of the year here across the Great Lakes region. Some of you might remember some of the really vicious ice storms we've had in the past. I go back to 1976, first week of March. That ice storm covered much of West Michigan. Then there was a second major ice storm that occurred mainly around the Hastings area from Berry County, Eaton County over toward Flint. It was only about 30 miles wide. Uh, that w occurred right before Christmas in 2013, so almost 10 years ago. And that was a, a crazy storm because it really disrupted Christmas for so many people down there, uh, especially in the Hastings area. But this particular uh, freezing rain event was caused by the fact that we had warm air aloft and cold air at the ground. Normally, it's the other way around. If you were to climb up a mountain like Mount Washington in New Hampshire or perhaps Pike Peak uh, in, in Colorado where you've taken the trail, Ridge Road out there in Rocky Mountain National Park, you notice how it gets colder the higher up you go. But in the case of freezing rain, that is reversed. We have the warm air up top. And so what happens is, is the precipitation forms as raindrops instead of snowflakes. And then we had the uh, raindrops falling down into the cold air where they uh, fell on the uh, streets, the trees, the wires, and uh, caused a really incredible ice storm across the area here. Um, the area that was hit the hardest was uh, north of Grand Rapids. So we didn't get up so much in the city, but the area between about central Nuevo County and uh, Wexford County was the area that saw the worst ice from the storm in 1922. Well, Bill, ice storms can certainly cause a lot of damage. This one was no different, obviously. What was the scale of the damage and its overall impact, the one from 1922? Well, this was an incredible storm. Like I said, anywhere from one to four inches of freezing rain fell over a three-day period, mainly across Wisconsin and Michigan, but it extended into Ontario, Canada, went west into parts of Minnesota and northern Iowa as well. To the north of where the freezing rain, rain was, there was heavy snow. In fact, a couple spots right across uh, uh, just west of the Mackinac Bridge picked up up to 30 inches of snow from the storm. There, the precipitation was cold enough to fall as uh, snow. Once you got down to Grand Rapids and south, we had more rain from this event. One more interesting thing about this particular storm, we not only got the freezing rain, but we got thunder and lightning with the freezing rain and the heavy snow off to the north. Uh, Muskegon picked up uh, well over two inches of rain and freezing rain in just one day. Uh, it remains uh, one of the heavier precipitation uh, events during the winter that Muskegon has ever had. And one final note I probably should pass along. I remember an ice storm in 1965. I was living north of Chicago. I was born in Evanston, Illinois. Our school remained open for anybody that could get there. Uh, back in those days, it was uh, kind of unusual to close schools like we do today. But there was so much ice that I skated to school. I think I was in seventh or eighth grade at the time. I actually put my skates on, skated to school. It was almost a mile. And... Um, we uh, went to the gym and watched National Gra Geographic movies. We raided the, the kitchen. It was really a great day. And then I strapped on my skates and went back home again during the afternoon, <laughs> dodging all the tree limbs on my skates. <laughs>